for a long time, evangelicals have been, if not leading, very much at the forefront of kind of racism in America. Uh, I would argue, you know, historically, uh, you know, they, I would, I, I, really more as an evangelical, I would argue uh, it's, it's a failure of their, uh, it's a failure of faith, right? I, mean, the, I think evangelicals have these resources, all Christians have these resources, the dignity of all human beings. Um, I think it's most important but also evangelicalism specifically, right? You know, I, I, remember I remember hearing Mark Galley, the editor of Christianity Today, talking about, you know, all these Christian scholars that appeal to the Imago Dei, which is that, you know, we've been created in the image of God, and thus everybody has dignity, everybody has worth. Uh, racism is not an option, right, as a result of that, if everybody has dignity. And there were people in the 17th, 18th, 19th and 20th centuries who were making these arguments. So it's not as if I'm sort of taking my 21st century view on this and superimposing it on the past. There are others who were more consistent on this. But Galley said, for evangelicals, it even goes deeper than just the Imago Dei, or it's, it's, it's more thorough than that, in the sense that if we believe Jesus died on the cross sort of for our sins, you know, the rede redemption, uh, all human beings are worthy of redemption in God's eyes, regardless of gender, race, class, and so forth. So it, it, it moves even beyond just the creation to the, to the you know, redemption. So I think evangelicals have an amazing set of resources in their faith to be able to overcome these racial problems. And for a variety of reasons, they failed, they just failed to do it because I think they're overcome by by fear in many ways. They're overcome by, and, and, and this deeply rooted idea that somehow we are an exceptional nation, that God has blessed us above other nations, that we are a new Israel, right? In some ways, evangelicals still believe they're in this kind of contractual relationship with God. With God. Uh, Americans are, are, evangelicals believe that if we, if we uh, you know, don't keep a keep a pure Christian nation. We're going to lose uh, we're going to lose um, God's favor in some ways. So I think that all of those kinds of really bad kind of historical assumptions and theological assumptions, right? Fear. I don't think I love the Marilyn Robinson quote that she you know fear is not a Christian habit of mind, right? So there's these kind of psychological, theological errors, historical errors um, that get in the way of us kind of living out our faith in a, with a sense of hope, right? With a sense of, of equality, with a sense of, um, you know, what Martin Luther King called the beloved community.